Hey, what's happening everybody? I'm Daryl. And I'm Richard. And we are Dick and Daz Do, and welcome to our channel. Okay, so welcome to pre-travel day, and um, we're going to pack the case now. Now, I do really like to travel light, but we have got 23 kilos here to do, so... Oh. So, let's start with... Uh, yeah, let's get those in. And that's about that. Yeah, that's about it, I think. There we go. All done. Oh, I'll tell you what, let me know in the comments below if you think I've packed too much. Good morning. So here we are on our way to Bristol Airport. Um, we've never flown with Jet 2 before, and so we're doing that today. It's my first time going to Tenerife, going to Spain, going to any of the islands. So I'm quite looking forward to that as well. And we're going to go to Goblin Parking, which we've never done before either. Give that a go, it's got some good reviews. Um, and we're also using 1903 Lounge today. Uh, 1903 which, Lounge which, today. Which, is also, which we've which also was, never used. We've so never used, so it's, it's a, a day of firsts. A today. day of firsts. Yeah. Onward. <laughs> So, um, at Bristol Airport, Jet 2, Ryanair, have got their own departures bit, uh, which is good. It's all separate to the main bit, so that's where we're heading now. A few moments later...
so this is a bit of a, a roundup of our travel day. Um, so um, we obviously left uh, Somerset and got to Bristol Airport quite easily. Um, we were staying at the Goblin Parking um, and it was a very, very small windy road up to the Goblin Farm. Um, but when we got there, it was very well signposted. We found the office, some nice facilities in the office, um, very, very friendly staff picked the bus up, they took us straight to the airport, very, 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 yeah. very friendly girl, chatty, really nice she was. Uh, we got dropped off right outside the departures. I, I would say the, the actual, the, the changeover from when we parked the car to when we got in the van was literally five minutes maximum. We were the only people there and we were straight in, handed our keys over with our pre-printed paperwork that they send, that you, they, they send you by email. We literally, she took our key, we got in the van, and we were at Bristol Airport within five minutes. It was really, really good. So, so far, we'd absolutely recommend Goblin. They've been really good so far. So, yeah, all good. Um, so, we got to uh, Jet 2. We were a bit early. Um, so, we had a bit of a wait, but the they finally opened up. It was all self-check-in. So, if you don't have that sort of thing, then don't worry. Um, there were more staff than there were people checking in at one point. Mm. Very, very helpful, very friendly. Mm. Um, we weighed our cases, printed our labels, put everything on, put cases on the conveyor belt, press a button, off they went. It was as easy as that. Um, one negative, the transfer from the airport to the hotel was a bit chaotic to start with. Uh, we got told to go to pick up a bus and then it just seemed to descend into nothing. Um, but anyway, we did get there in the end. A, a rep turned up and uh, checked us all off. And we were two stops two and stops. We, we were at the hotel. So yeah. that was good in the end. Obviously, in between that, we had the lounge, uh, the 1903 lounge at Bristol. Um, very easy to find. Um, we looked at the prices for the other restaurants, burgers, whatever. They were very expensive, 18, 19 pounds a burger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, for what we paid, about 37 pounds each. Um, it was it was worth it. Yeah. To be fair, it yeah. was worth it. Yeah. Um. The only thing, the portions were small. Um. Everything was cooked to order. The portions were a bit small, but she did tell us we could order multiple. Yeah. So you can do that. You can order more than one thing. There's loads of cold buffet items, sandwiches. Mm. Yeah. Salads, desserts. Yeah. Um. All sorts coming out. Drinks. You can help yourself to alcoholic drinks. Yeah soft drinks, tea, coffee, anything you want. Um, but the one negative, there was no view. Yeah, the room, room was a bit boxy. You literally walked in with no view whatsoever. But um, listen, it was okay. It, it was fine. Yeah. It was worth the money. Yeah, it was definitely. worth the we money. Definitely do, and we definitely do it again. So We might, try the, we might try the... Um, escape. What was escape it like? Escape lounge. Escape lounge. Yeah, we might yeah. try the escape lounge next time. I believe it's a buffet. Yeah. I don't know. I yeah. believe it's a buffet. Yeah. yeah. All ours was cooked to order, um, apparently. But it, I think it was. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, think it was. Yeah. Um, so we got to the Hard Rock Hotel. We were second drop off, as I mentioned. Um, we got in after a bit of a wait because something was going on with the fire alarm. Mm. We did finally get checked in. Easy enough. Yeah. Very helpful member of staff. Explained everything. Um, he gave us our wristbands, which opened the door. He also gave us two plastic key cards, which we swapped for towels at any of the pools. Um, so that was easy enough. Uh, gave us our room number, um, and basically that was that. That was that, yeah. Um, and our room tour will come yeah. during our vlog, either this one or the next one. Yeah. Um, but basically that was it. That was our travel day. It was very, very easy. It was a long day, um, but it was very easy. Um, and we, we got annoyed, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So that was about it. Yeah, and we'll, we'll let you know at the end when we pick the cars up and everything, um, how, how that goes getting back as well. So, yeah. yeah. So okay. All right. Nice See one. you in a bit. Cheers. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell.